Yes, sir. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. We are here in Gunnersville, Alabama. I you guys follow the channel. I told you guys that I made it here last night, but I showed you, but it was so dark out here that you really weren't able to appreciate this beautiful view. Check this out. Very nice. Skies are not clear yet, but I mean, that's fine. I like days like this because that way uh, the unit doesn't work as hard with this hot ass weather. This is where I slept at last night. There was a truck there, but I get up this morning, I guess the truck left and now we have three more trucks and then we have a few more trucks here that he's probably waiting on a chicken load, but I don't know what he's waiting on. This guy right here, they're probably waiting on the feed, uh, which loads right there because the chicken plant is after that location. So, uh, yeah guys, I just called, I did my check-in, I started my unit, I checked it, everything is good. Um, you know, cleaned out the trailer a bit, that way it wasn't dirty, with no pieces of cardboard or wood. That way that, that, that way that once I get there, it's just walk to the door, get loaded, and get it going. So I think guys, so all I said, uh, let's go ahead, let's go to the chicken plant, and uh, I'll see you over there to see what they tell me. We are loaded and rolling. The day is still a little cloudy, that's good. It's not that hot. Um, I'm gonna be stopping there at my buddy's house in a few. I'm gonna be checking the lights up there in the trailer that I told you guys in the last video, they were out. And I'm gonna be putting some Freon in, some Freon, some antifreeze in the reefer unit as well. He needs a bit, he has a lot of there we're gonna be using, so yeah. I also gotta go pick up a check. Um, I'm gonna stay there till the afternoon and probably around eight ish, give or take. I'll head out from his house. Drive, I don't know, maybe to exit 205 in Virginia, right after the uh, right after the that big mountain we gotta go down, down, down to, and then I guess that if I feel good if I get there early enough and I feel good. I'm gonna keep going, I'll probably make it to West Virginia. And I'll call it a day, cause from West Virginia to the Costco, it's only like three and a half hours. So, we'll see. I know that from exit 205 to West Virginia, we have like two hours and 15 more minutes. So we'll see how, we'll see how I feel when I get there. And if it's not too late, it's gonna be too, too late. Like something around six in the morning, I'm not gonna do it, forget about it. Look, these are his 439, it's not bad. Oh, but they don't have pumps for trucks. Anyways, man, this view is super, super nice, man. Yeah, I've been doing it. I've been doing a few trips now, and the view is incredible. All right, we got everything working. If you guys follow the channel, you guys saw it in the previous clip or the previous video. I told you that these lights were off completely from here back. Turns out that the cable broke here. So, finally found an issue, we're gonna get it fixed. Everything's on. Yeah. You guys want to say, man? No whiskey, no beer. <laughs> All right, so like I said, we found the issue. Let me go ahead and tape this up here for now, and then I'll fix it, because I don't have the little things here, so. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and change the whole wire out eventually, because it's starting to come apart. All right, you guys remember about lights, right? Well, look at the two lights that I changed out. Look at the wear and turn this one, it's all cracked up. Look how much dirt is on, on there. This one was bad too, but it wasn't, it was it wasn't as bad, huh? Just the middle one was working. Yeah, just the middle dot was working. Everything else was bad. So, we got the top fixed. We got the two changed out. Um, in. We put the antifreeze in. That's it, right? Yeah, we got everything. As a plan, we got everything good to go. Alright. So, now... Take a shower and head out in a bit. Look, this thing's about to start right now. All right, let me pick this up, guys, and then do what we gotta do, and I'll be heading out. You won't, you'll be heading out tomorrow, no, you'll be heading out Sunday. Sunday, Sunday so I won't catch you. Next day here guys, so last night we made it here to exit 205 in Virginia, Rafine, 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead. I wanted to watch the trouble. There's a little line and I, I really don't want to wait right now. I want to leave as early as possible that way. I get to the Costco as early as possible. That Costco there is always busy. It's always packed and I want to make sure um, I can find a spot when I get there. Um, they have a TA here. I'm going to go ahead and go there so I can see if I can find the tool that I need to loosen or tighten the oil filter on this truck. I told you guys that I need it. Uh, when I did the oil change, I had a little rough time, you know, taking off the filter and putting on the new one and tying it up. I called Peterbilt, which is across the street, but unfortunately, they do not have that type of tool. Um, so, yeah, I have the petrol shop services. Oh, I'm sure they have the tool there. I don't know if they have it for sale, but I'm sure they have the tool there. And we have, uh, they're trying to build like some type of chrome shop here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and go in there to see if maybe they might have the tool already. I don't think the thing's built yet, but maybe they have some stuff. And we, we might be lucky and come around and, and find a tool that's going to work for us. So I think other than that, temperature. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it there, but temperature is good. Truck is looking good. It's super dirty, guys. But, I mean... Like I said, I really don't want to sit down and do the line now. Maybe when I when I'm done doing everything I gotta do, if there's no line, I'll go in it. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't make any promises. Now, let me tell you guys that um, the weather here. Oh my God! Beautiful weather, man. Beautiful, beautiful weather. This has been the best weather I have experienced up up here. Um, ever since I started doing these chicken runs, to be honest. Well, just just think about that. It's like one o'clock, two o'clock now, and I have the truck off, and I was sleeping till now with the truck off with no issues at all. No issues at all. It got a little hot. I, all I did was crack open my windows and started getting this cold breeze because it's not even hot. It's a little cold breeze that it's it's flying and it's it's it's, it's good. It's so it's so nice, you know, compared to the heat that we've been dealing with lately but um yeah i don't know if it has something to do up here with the mountains or not i don't know because last time i was here it wasn't like this at all i checked the weather and it's like 70 degrees so that's that's a plus but anyway so after talking let's go inside that um let's go inside that uh service shop they have there to see if we can go ahead and find our tool Made it to West Virginia, guys. You know, more or less the same process of last week and the week before that. I'm gonna be filling up the whole trailer. I'm gonna fill up the whole truck. It's probably gonna be like around $800. Um, I have a discount of 60 something cents. So that's always good. I'm gonna go ahead, finish filling everything up, have some lunch, and keep on going. I have like three hours and 40 minutes to go to the Costco, so. Hopefully we get there in time to find a good spot. Hopefully nobody takes my spot. So. Anyways, we're we'll talking. Let's get it going. I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of shit come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me. And what was left over, I put towards my dreaming. But the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work for, believe me. Take into your hands a plan, your own hands can land your own brand. And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability. They want the credibility, convincingly unwilling to put in the f hours. It takes to get some power. Don't be fing sour. Take a cold shower, scream until you're louder, work until you're prouder. And f all the doubters, they're just young downers. I swear to God, they all let me down. I always fought just to wear the crown. I'm off at the 
Tell me what you got, what you bring How you fight in the ring How you take a f***ing swing Do you got heart, are you mean Got some scars, got some needs Are you willing to go bleed? I swear to God they all let me down I don't these spot just to wear the crown I'm f***ed off at these f***ing clowns Who were all taught they deserve it now It's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it Made it just in time. You can barely see the the glare of the sun now. So good thing is we're here safe and sound. Um, it's like eight o'clock now, eight thirty something like that. All we really gotta do is at three thirty go inside the Costco, do our check-in, and go right back to sleep because our appointment's not till uh, six thirty in the morning. So. The good thing is we're here already, so that's always a plus. Another safe trip for the books. Anyways, I'm going to relax, guys. I'm going to relax now, so uh, I'll catch you guys. Some, I'll catch you guys in a few hours once we go inside the Costco. So I had a, I thought I had a 6.30 appointment, and I get here, I do my check-in, and then he said go to door 145. So I'm going to go ahead, take off my locks right now. Cause I am locked up and uh, I'm gonna go to door 145. <laughs> That's good. That's good because I have another pickup that I gotta do the same load I did last week, guys. That Apple load that I've been doing, I gotta pick up near Violin and that's gonna deliver uh, Monday. So we just left our facility here in Costco. Well, we parked outside, right? I'm gonna go ahead and, and close my doors. I already checked the trailer when I was in Costco. Made sure that we didn't have any issues. Um, what else, what else? Got my low locks on. All I can say is let's close these doors and let's head out to by focal so i think that's how i think i got it right this time i think that's the the location name over there in next to or near violent new jersey pitts groove i think that's the name of the town so like that let's go put this glove here That's good. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm gonna take a quick second and end the video here. I know that um, a lot of these videos that I've been posting lately, those little, you know, I'm trying to post as much as possible. But I know that a lot of these things, they are pretty much the same thing, and I know it can get boring. Um, but guys, it is what it is. This is what I'm what I'm gonna be doing now. I don't know how long um, I want to go home. I'm gonna, I've been out for like two weeks and a half now. I want to go home by the end of the month because I got the baby's birthday. And I want to see if I can go ahead and fix the truck. So I know that this, you know, these videos that I'm, that I'm posting pretty much are, are all the same. And obviously, right, because I'm, I'm picking up with the chicken plant. I'm coming to Costco. I was able to grab those loads from, you know, near Violin going back down to Atlanta. Or better said, South Orlando, Monroe, Georgia. So I know that pretty much it is the same stuff, but I mean, it is what it is. This is what I have now, and I have to do it, right? Because there isn't much work out there right now for us truck drivers. There's actually more drivers than actually work right now. So 
I have these good runs that I'm doing, I am not gonna go ahead and try to find something else and lose what I already have. You guys know, you guys definitely know that these are not my type of runs. You guys know that I have always avoided, um, I have always avoided being on 81. I don't like, I don't like it. It's just not my style of running. I don't like going up and down and stuff like that. It's, I don't, I don't mind doing it if I have to get, you know, if I got to do it, I got to do it. But I just rather be more of a flat surface. That's that's just how I feel more comfortable. Um, and that's probably one of the reasons why. I don't head out when I don't go to, you know, Colorado. I don't go to California. I just, I just feel that the truck receives and the truck gets so much wear and tear that when you really throw out the numbers, it's really not, to me, it's not worth the little extra money you're going to be making compared to the wear and tear that the truck receives and stuff like that. Like I said, that's just my opinion. Everybody has different opinions and stuff like that. I have an old truck guys, I do not have a brand new truck, a lot of guys think that my truck is brand new, no, not at all, my truck is a 2002, okay, it's a 379, it just has a 389 hood on it, that's why you guys think, it has a 389 hood on it, it has a 389 dash on it, that's why a lot of you guys think it's a newer truck, it is not a glider kit either, it's an old truck guys, so being an old truck, a lot of, a lot of more issues tend to happen, all right. Um, what can I? What else can I say? You know, a lot, a lot of more things tend to happen. Not that I'm. I'm not saying the newer trucks things don't happen. You buy a brand new truck, and in two years and a half, if you make it there, hell, you gotta start doing shit to it because if you really think about it, you really put it in perspective. Um, no matter what truck you get, it could be a Volvo, it could be a Freightliner, it could be a whatever you get no matter the motor you get yes there is motors yes there is trucks that are better than others but at the end of the day all these trucks are meant to do one thing and that is to haul freight right so going down the road there's a percentage when you're hauling freight there's a percentage when you're going down the road that that is being taken care of the truck every time you start it, every time you go up a hill, every time you turn, every time you brake, every time you back into a door, every time you just move the truck around, there's a percentage that has to go from that money, from the freight you're moving around into the truck. You might not see it the first month, you might not see it the second month, but eventually you're going to see it no matter what truck it is. Like I said, yes, there's trucks that are better than others. I mean, we all know that. It's just like cars. But doesn't mean that they are not meant to haul freight all these trucks are meant to haul freight so this is why going back to the main purpose this is why i always say do not book cheap freight if you guys follow a channel guys i deadheaded 900 and no, i'm sorry 800 and something miles almost 900 because it was 800 and like 95 miles something like that from miami guys from miami i deadheaded to pick up these loads up here okay once again if you guys follow the channel you guys know that i dead head out a lot i go every time i go to dallas 95 percent of the times when i go to dallas sorry guys i got some allergies 95 percent of the time when i go to dallas there is nothing that i that there is nothing that i like to do or that i think is worth it going from dallas down to mccallan or down to san antonio so what do i do I dead head down to the valley 500 miles guys so don't come don't sit here and come and be like oh you know this oh here that and all those to me those are just excuses everybody wants to fix the brokers and i get it i get it i want to fix them too but we have to start by fixing ourselves if we don't fix ourselves things are going to keep being the way they are because as long as we have people that are moving the cheap freight what do you think what do you think is going to happen what do you think is they're gonna do? They're gonna keep lowering the they're gonna keep lowering those prices. Why? Because there's people like us still moving the freight. Plain and simple. I'm not saying right now that oh yeah, book. I'm I'm being realistic. I'm not saying oh yeah, let's book five, six dollar, let's book five, six dollar uh mile freight. Hell if you can book it, good. But the thing is that the market, the way it is, there is no such thing as five to six dollar freights right now 
I'm not saying they don't come out. Yes, they do come out, but it's not every day where you can book a five to six dollar freight unless you have a steady run with somebody that you've been doing it for so long and they you know you, you made an agreement that the prices need to go up because the fuel's so high and you know the cost of living is just high other parts everything is just higher so the price on their stuff have to, on the on the freight on their miles gotta go up as well they gotta pay you more money so you can move their product obviously the client you've been working for them so long the client if they like what you do, they will pay it. Now, don't think that if you slip on time, they're not going to be looking for somebody else to pay them cheaper to move that freight around. They probably will. Even if you don't slip, they probably will pay you the first few trips till they can find somebody um, where they can move their product for cheaper because that's just the way the business is, you know. So, um, make sure that when you move product, First of all, you don't move for cheap, and second of all, you do a good job at it. Just, you know, don't be late to your appointment. Make sure you guys are driving safe, you know. Don't get to your freaking location and your damn load is shifted. It could happen, don't get me wrong, I mean, I pick up these loads and I drive 800 and something miles to deliver. Yeah, I get two days, which is fine, because you only drive, what, six, seven hours a day. It's not bad, but, um... You know, a car can get in front of you, you can break hard. You know, things do happen, but that percentage has to be very, very low. For the old subscribers, the ones, the ones that, that that they've been on the channel for a long time, um, when have you seen me complain about all oh, this? You know, this freight dish or this freight shifted, or 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 you know, because something that could have happened, something that could have happened to the freight because of me. Name it name it i'm not saying it didn't happen it probably did but the percentage of that happening is very low why because i take my time because i drive slow i'm not driving all these freaking truck stops where there's bumps and stuff like that at freaking 30 miles per hour you know i do what i gotta do and what is the main what is one of the things a lot of you guys always tell me oh but why don't you secure the load i don't need to secure the load why because when i'm taking the load i make sure those patterns are strong enough that's the start and second of all I make sure that I take my time to do turns, to do what I gotta do in order for that freight to get to point A to point B in a safe manner without any issues at all. Um, what else, what else? I was gonna tell you guys. So yeah, don't book cheap freight, man, because things are expensive. Yes, fuel went down a bit. Thank God it went down like a dollar, give or take. Um, but it's still expensive. Fuel still needs to go down another dollar and twenty five, another two dollars and twenty five cents. So we can go back to that two dollar range, you know, give or take. But um, I mean, hopefully we can make it there. Let's see what happens. The way fuel has dropped has me a little scared, a little worried because the last time it did that, what happened after that? Boom, it went up. We were freaking paying five something, six dollars a gallon over here in the East Coast. I know that California was more expensive, but I don't go to Cali, so yeah. Um. So hopefully this time around it doesn't happen that way because that really affect our pocket. Fuel goes up and the prices on the, on the loads really don't go up. They actually go down. So you got to be really careful how you book your loads because it's, it's, it's rough out there, guys. It's rough. Everything is bad. Everything is expensive. And and really got to know how you manage your money. That's what I'm saying. If you guys can find something steady even if it's not paying the best to make you rich you might you might you might consider taking it because i'm not saying you know make a dollar and 25 cents a mile no i'm not saying that but if you can find yourself anywhere between or anywhere above the three dollar range do it because hell if you can find yourself something that pays five dollars five dollars a mile do it because there's not much of there's not much of that left out there. I'm sure a lot of guys can agree with me on this. Like I said, I'm not saying that I, I'm I'm not saying these loads are paying me five six dollars a mile. I'm not saying that. No, no, they're not. I wish they did. <clears throat> I wish they did. Yes, but I'm not saying that. I'm saying that if you can keep yourself above the three dollar mile range, you can still make some money. Not become rich, but you can make some money where you can put it aside, pay your bills, and do what you gotta do. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna get into details how much these loads pay me or not because I'm not really, I don't like to discuss 
what I make and what I don't make. I think that's something a little personal to me. I'm just trying to let you guys know not to book the cheap freight. I see these freights, man. You guys know that I stick to I, I stick to a lot of the Florida to Texas run. And they're paying $1,400, $1,500 just to go to Texas. That's ridiculous. I tell the brokers, hey, man, how is that possible when it takes me just to get there, 11, not, not to get there, just to fill up my tanks to leave, it's like $1,100. And I don't even make it to Texas. How are you guys paying $1,500? I still got to pump fuel again in Louisiana. So how hard is it to understand that one, how hard is it to understand that one plus one is two, not that one plus one is seven? You know what I'm saying? It's it's crazy out here. A lot of you guys, a lot of new guys think that you buy a truck, you got a payment, you got a trade, you got a payment, you got this, you got a payment. I get it. I was there too, but I did the things the way you're supposed to. You don't book the cheap freight because when you book loads that pay well enough, you don't have to move cheap freight around. That's how I used to go home and I used to do this and I used to do that. Here, I can't go home because this is not from Miami. So might as well, when I come to work, I stay out here. You know, I want to stay out here for like a month or so, do what I got to do, and then go back home for a few weeks and then come back out and do what I got to do and like that. But when I was going from Miami to Texas, Texas, New York, and back to Miami, hell, I'll do that. And then I'll go home for like another week and a half. Why? Because I wasn't booking cheap freight. A lot of you guys think that since you got a truck payment, you got to do this, you got to do that, you got to keep moving, you got to keep moving. Yeah, you got to keep moving, but you got to keep moving for money, not for crappy money. That's two different things, all right? So just keep that in mind. As always, enough of the talking. I got to get it going. And I got I to gotta go pick up my other load, like I said. Um, thank you guys all so much for the love, for the support. You guys need to get in contact with me. Follow me on my Instagram, at Florida Truck Riders. Follow me on, on I was going to say YouTube. <laughs> Follow me on, on TikTok as well at Florida Truck Riders 2020. I haven't posted in a few weeks, but I'm gonna start doing it again. I was going back to back, but I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot all at once, you know? So yeah, bear with me on that, but follow me there as well. And if you need to get in contact with me, I already said it, follow me on Instagram and uh, shoot me a message. I'm pretty good at responding messages on Instagram better than, than YouTube, because I get a lot more on YouTube and it's just a lot like, I don't get the notification like Instagram shows me, you know, so, yeah. Um, that's all that I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, and keep on trucking.